Oh. Yeah. You can see me? Yeah. As I said, we are moving. The whole house is like, it looks like a bomb whole house. It's like, um, yeah, anyway, so I don't have my usual setup as uh, I did last time. That's why we don't have this, uh, I don't have that a lot of videos. And I'm just like school working, moving, yeah. But don't, don't think I forgot about reviewing shit. But today, uh, uh, yeah, I forgot I had, uh, didn't have the review this and I wanted to review this before I uh, reviewed the Vaporfly Next Percent 2 because I just had my first run in the Vaporfly Next Percent and uh, interesting that's all I gotta say people saying the Vaporfly is the Next Percent 2 is and 1 is the best running shoe uh, and I have to say I don't know yet I just had like a 6k in it with some uh, fast sprints in between uh, just to see how it was in pace and I uh, won a Strava segment I got a, a, a PB but then again I haven't I don't know if I've tried that much that segment before I have taken it like maybe 12 times but uh, so it's a fast shoe it felt fast it, it felt great uh, but I really like the shoe like uh, then again I might change my mind this is not the comparison video I'm, I will make a comparison video and I will review the Wake of Light 2 but let's talk about this shoe because this shoe is great the upper feels great. It, it, it's nice and flat, uh, flat at the bottom, the outsole. I feel you roll. This is not a comparison video, but the other one is a trampoline, much more unstable. This is much more stable, but still so. Uh, I will call this uh, a more stable. Um, Socoli endorphin speed uh, one and two it's more stable it's totally flat on the bottom as you see uh, it got the outsole patches here with the exposed foam right here but you land much flat much stable much more like a foot you know this is not a, but you land like you would on your feet uh, i feel like the Socoli endorphin speed though it's a great shoe don't get me wrong i ran in that but i had to sell them because they were too tight um, the upper was like restricted uh, and i didn't i already ran a lot of them so i didn't buy new ones anyway this one i don't know i had i have ran two 5k runs in it i, I train in it i use it for slower paces faster paces uh, I don't feel the plate that much. When I do like this, I feel the plate, but it, it's a plated racing shoe and super light. And you can get it for, I don't know, a hundred bucks now online. And the other shoe, super shoes, you know, you, you they're up there. And people say, yeah, I would always choose um, Wake of fly next percent over this. I will choose the soak and indoor for speed over this. I will, uh, then again, I haven't raced in the vapor fly. This is not a comparison video, but if you are like me, you ran, run uh, uh, 5k 20 44, uh, that's my PB. 20 minutes 44 seconds I know I'm gonna get uh, under 20 minutes this year that's my goal and I'm not a fast runner I'm a long distance runner I like the long longer but since my back pain uh, I got more in I know back pain and uh, uh, what can I say uh, the pavement asphalt is not the best for the back but I like I get in like a shorter amount of time and 
races on the road. I still run on the trails, but not uh, uh, as long as I want to. I try to get rid of this injury, but it's taken its time. Anyway, uh, if you if you are a regular runner, but you want a carbon uh, shoe, if you're a regular runner that runs like uh, 18, 19, uh, 5Ks, 10Ks, right 45 minutes, right under 45 minutes. This is a super lightweight shoe. It's 210 grams or uh, lighter, even lighter, I don't know, 200 grams. One, uh, 200, maybe in my size it's 210 grams. Uh, um, this is a 44. Um, uh, UK 10, no, US 9, no, US 10. Uh, you don't need the other shoe for sure. I just bought them because I wanted them and I wanted to be faster. And I want, but after my first run now, I don't know if it's a faster shoe. I need to try it uh, more. But if you want to save a hundred dollars, just buy this one. This you can find for cheap. And uh, I'm not really a big fan of hookah. I love hookah trail shoes, but I don't really like hookah road shoes. But this is flat on the bottom. It's, it's not that massive stack high uh, that and people say like hookahs are so soft this is the softest hookah i tried and it's not uh, that big of a uh, uh, what can i say uh, stack high this is probably the lowest shoe hookah i got so hookah rocket x it's uh yeah a great shoe in my opinion and uh, you don't need to spend all that money uh, to have a fast, good racing shoe with a carbon play. Uh, Soaking in doping speed for me is not a racing shoe. I haven't tried a pro, but you can use it as the same as this. But I feel this is uh, a little bit more stable and 10-15% uh, firmer. Uh, and that doesn't say much because the soaking in doping speed I find very soft and springy and uh, uh, so yeah if you don't want to pony out the money just go for this peace